What's up, YouTube? So I'm about two weeks behind on my goal to do one video a week, so let's just get right into it. Um, trying to be more clear, more concise, be able to talk kind of fast and you know get my ideas out there on video uh, as clearly as I can. Uh, so let's flip it around and you know show you what I'm doing. So this week I've been uh, trying to wrap up these edges. I think the last time I did a video, I had some of these 3D printed. So I've machined all of the right sides, meaning I've got seven millimeters, 10 millimeters, and 13 millimeter versions of this design. And I textured one just to see how it would look. But so these are gonna be my new, my new um, not so micro edges. They're uh, seven millimeters at the smallest, but about pretty much all radius and then a nice texture on them. So that's that. I'm gonna be having about 15 of each of these on the website when I'm done and hopefully that'll be done this weekend so there's that and you know if I walk over here past the comparator I've got you know 15 to 18 of each of those and the machines warming up now so that's why I'm doing the video as it warms up then I've got yet I, I think another prototype of this I think this is the fifth iteration and it looks funny because I, I took another design and I just threw this arc in there. Uh, it's just the quickest way to test to see if I like this. So this, I suspect, is what I'm gonna go with on the unlevel edge. There's all these ways that I've seen to do a like flippable uh, mounting point and stuff. And this is just the simplest method. I, I don't, I first of all, this feels the best. And I'm going to try a flippable or movable mounting point but I suspect that's all gonna kind of feel the same. So this is symmetrical, or I've seen other designs that this is asymmetrical and then you flip it be, to make up for the, the difference in the length of your index finger in the pinky. You can see mine's kind of dramatic, the difference on my hand, but I really don't think it matters. And if you know, climbers as a community ever decide that this whole um, unlevel edge thing is kind of a fad and people move away from it. This will be a timeless design, just a, a comfortable arced slot. So I think anybody who gets uh, a apparatus like this, they'll keep it forever, they'll use it forever, just as a comfortable edge size, where some of the other ones, they're a bit weird to me, and maybe weird is not the right word. And I think that you know that's the correct product for people that want that, but I think more people will be interested in just the simple design. You don't have to flip it. You don't have to move anything around. You can just use it on either hand. And, and I, I think for most people, this is gonna be 90% of the effect as well. So simpler, easier to make, it's gonna be cheaper. Um, and it's probably gonna be all that people really want. So moving on from that, <laughs> this is from the sticker app. You can ignore that. Um, so I got some more stickers in. This is my Street Fighter design. It says Ken and Akuma, and it doesn't come up too well on camera, but they have fingers for heads like everything else. Uh, I've, I've done so far and then I've got the other design which isn't taken from anything it's just a fingerhead guy fingers of fury so two new stickers for the products coming up and something else I'm going to start doing is I got a rubber stamp I don't have any ink to test it out but on everything that I do from now on as part of the unboxing experience you'll open up the box and it's going to say get psyched when you open it so you have like no other option but to get psyched as soon as you open the box and start using it. So that's gonna be my thing. From now on, everybody who opens up their box, they're gonna be psyched. So that's what's going on. It's a super short video, but I made one. So you know, next week, hopefully I do this again. Take it easy.